Got a pool area. Oh, look at the pool. It's green. Yeah, definitely not going in there. Oh, no. Look at this. Someone didn't clear it. They didn't realize how big their car was. Uh, yeah, this place takes care of it. Wait, is this the Motel 6? It's no longer Motel 6. Oh, it was Motel, Motel 6? Motel Got it. Oh. When did Motel 6 change? Um, just this Tuesday right here. Uh, yeah, oh, recently. Oh, like wow. a couple of days ago. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Can you get your ID? That's one room, right? The yes. Two beds? Yes. Okay. Taxes include B, $60. Six so what's this place going to be called? It's not Motel 6. It's Luxury Inn. Luxury Inn. Mm -hmm. Let me get your room key. The whole roof is about to fall down. Look at that. Yeah, this place looks janky, and there's our room right there. 127. I mean, Damn, the roofs are falling down and stuff. No wonder why Motel 6 traded this place out. Super strange. We just found out by talking to the lady that they just acquired this place on Tuesday. Which is three days ago. Three days ago. So what do you think, like... The reasoning behind that was well, a company would only liquidize a property or anything if it wasn't making money. And think about that. All the reviews that we saw were about this motel and how crappy it was. The only way for them to change that was to literally revamp the whole place, like do a full remodel and clean it all. The and way that up. would have costed a ton of money. So they sold it off and probably lost a little bit of money, but they cleared their name on the property. Oh shoot! I've never seen a place dirtier and nastier than this in my entire life. Okay guys, you guys are in for something special. Welcome back to a brand new episode of My Unfortunate Life Choices. Starring yours truly, Brennan Taylor. Jake Taylor. And together, we're, we're the, the Taylor, Taylor Bros. Bros. Anyways, um, it's gonna make me laugh every time we do it. We are at a one star hotel, okay? This hotel is probably one of the nastiest hotels I have ever seen. And I haven't even gone inside yet. Just the outside from us driving up, the freaking roof is falling on top of the building. Like it's not looking good. Yeah. So let's get these reviews going. We'll get inside, we'll do our thing. Second worst hotel slash motel I've ever been to. Had to move room due to the heater not working. Shower was filthy with stains. Asked to clean it myself. So they sent Abu to the clean it. Pulled up the picture of a lump of hair and sperm from the drain. I used a work glove. So don't worry, okay, let's look at this thing for it. Oh. Why would anyone ever try to even pull this out? I would have just complained and left. I read the previous reviews before making my decision to stay here. Wish I had taken pictures. While the overall look of the rooms are much better than what is posted on here, there were other issues. Roaches found in our restroom. There was a nice flash screen TV, but no cable service, not even antenna TV. So they initially had a TV sitting there that was nice, but you couldn't do anything with it. You should have taken it. <laughs> Seriously. It was just terrible. Possible bed bugs. Shower head was terrible. Mold in the bathroom. Looks like it was just painted over. I would never go there again. We paid 99 for one night. I have been in way nicer hotels for 99 at night. Don't waste your time or money. Dirty walls. Oh, bug there's bites. a bug bite. Bed bug bites. We might be in for something here. Let's. We don't know, you know? We don't know. So let's get in there. Let's get our hazmat suits on. And let's check this place yeah, out. we brought full-on chemical ones this time. Not, Not no paint ones. Let's do this. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're suited up. Oh, it stinks, y'all. I can smell through here. Oh, they literally butt, bed bugged. This bed place. bugged this room hardcore. I can't even communicate what this smells like. It's like fresh bug bomb and then cologne. Do you smell like it? it smells like cologne? Of look, some sort. look at the bed right here. It literally sinks in the middle. Oh my like, hold on. Let me see if I can get a shot of this. Look, it literally does a taco. Okay, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to look. So, first things first. Got to glove up because. You guys remember in the San Francisco episode, my fingers turned yellow. I don't know why. We I already see a initial stain. That looks like fresh, fresh splooge. Okay, let's make sure we lock this because there was some sketchy people outside. What is this? Look at this. They still have the Motel 6 with the price. $2.99 for one adult. $3.05. That was the initial price. They still have all the old stuff. Do you think that these beds are the old beds that were in the Motel 6? Oh, there's no way they redid everything in They did it in three days. days. I'm gonna do a comfortability test, I think, should I? Uh-huh. I might as well do it before I look underneath the bed because if I see something... Oh, 
Oh my god, this bed is like a... It's too soft. Like, like you see how it just sink in? Yeah. Ah. I'm more of a firmer bed type of guy. Like, I like something that, like, it's not gonna hurt my back. If I slept on this, I guarantee you wake up in the morning, your back is gonna hurt. I noticed that on the bed already has holes. So none of this is new. Unless they got all this from like the Salvation Army. Keep in mind this is also a non-smoker's room. I asked for a non-smoker's room because I wanna be fair with this hotel and see what a normal person would get. And a normal person that doesn't smoke would get a normal room. So already seeing holes in a room that's supposed to be a non-smoking room doesn't make any sense. Wait, what's that on the wall? Dang it, is that a bug? It's like... It's a... Ew! What is it? It's a fucking booger on the wall. <laughs> with the hair. Get a shot. I don't want to look at that, Jake. It's already nasty. You know what I mean? I thought it was a bug crawling, but I'm also half blind because I was staring at a big bright light, so it's time to look at this. <gasps> Do you see all this sweat? Straight body sweat. I don't even know if that's still wet. Like, I don't want to... It looks sweat still. Can you see that? Pull out, pull out. Why? Yeah. That's ass sweat. This might be one of the nastiest hotels we ever go to. Look at this. It just burns. In a non-smoker's room, it doesn't make any sense. That is human bodily fluids. I don't know what kind of fluids get that wet. The only thing I can think of is maybe a guy was in here with a girl and he was giving it to her good and then a splash house happened. All right, we're gonna do something really bad right now. We're gonna pull off the whole sheet so we can look underneath this because- Oh, oh my, my God. God. This is, look at this bed, yo. Oh, look at the blood. Oh my God. I feel like my eyeball's getting itchy in here. Like I'm getting syphilis in the eye. They're expecting us to sleep in this bed when it's shapes like this. Like this is gonna break your back. Like the fact that they even have this as a mattress in here blows my mind. Every 10 years you're supposed to get a new mattress and that's for home use. Not including having different people sleep in different beds like different weight sizes and different body sizes and all that. You're supposed to probably for hotels get new beds every year or so. I don't what know. What does that say? This says... 08. So this is, this 11, is 11 years, years old. This bed right here. Made 122308. I don't know, man. That's This bed has been here for 11 years. Been in use. Yeah, the whole box spring is messed up. I want to see what's wrong with that. The whole wood that holds this together is broken. Before we dive into this bed, I noticed that the table, look how dirty this is. Like, it's like straight. I don't think you can tell from it's the camera. It's sticky. Oh, it's literally sticky? It's like, oh, you hear it. They didn't clean the table. They didn't clean the table at all. Cups are all sealed, so you know they're clean cups. You see that, uh, you got some rust, but like nothing really major in there. Like, at least you got no mold going on. I mean, hold on. I would definitely not put anything in there, but. Yeah, maybe like something some sealed, water. but our water bottles. But overall. Wait, wait. Why does the wall look like it's all sticky? Oh. Because it is. <gasps> My what God. What is all over your hands? Can you visibly see that it's just pure stickiness? You see the shine? Show your other glove so you know what it's supposed to look like. That's a normal glove. Look how shiny that is. I don't know, but it goes across here. It's almost like someone had like a pissy fight with their girl or whatever, and they threw like Sprite or it's something. On the whole wall. Maybe that's just a wall. No. There's hair on this wall right here. Let's just get into this bed so we can check out the rest of this hotel. Is that a bug? We got some dead bugs over here. Look at, we got two. Is, that's a, is that a bug or is that a leaf? I think those are bugs. It looks like a dead roach. There's definitely a hair all over here. All right, the moment of truth. Another equally as nasty mattress. Is this a big yellow stain right here? It is. It is. That's a literally like a piss stain or shit stain. Like someone used the restroom there. I'm not seeing any bed bugs, but do you notice how, it's crazy how the human body works. Cause we're in here for a long time. And that, that smell is not as potent anymore. It starts to smell like it's okay. It starts to smell normal. 
but our first initial walk in here, I can't tell you how rancid it smelled. It smelled like they just literally did a bug spray and that thing smelled bad. And it was mixed with like some Febreze of some sort of cologne or something to like mask the air. I'll be completely honest, I don't even think they changed the sheets from buying this place. I think whatever it Probably was in the not. morning, they just like bug sprayed it and left it. And there's literally like hairs and shit in here. Okay, so there is one complaint that there was a TV, which there is, and it didn't work. So let's give this a go. Let's see if it works. TV is nice. It's a flash screen. I'm gonna turn it on. Maybe with this remote that I'm holding in my hand. Okay, it turns on. Let's see what there is to play. Oh, oh yeah, wow. Should we sit down? Let's, let's sit down. Let's order some Postmates or something. Some room service. Yeah. This, this place is kind of nice. It has some good TV. We don't have audio though. <laughs> like, I'm on 100. So unless you like watching TV in the, in the silence, that's what you're getting from this. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wait, we only have No Kevin's way. Show. Watch. Hold on, watch. I'm going to go to the next channel. Nothing. Switch again. Look, watch my finger. You get both these in the same shot. I'm only going to press the up button, okay? Up one. Nothing. Up again. Up again. All there is is Ellen DeGeneres with no audio. No audio. All you get to watch is Ellen DeGeneres. What if Ellen owns this place and she's just trapping people to only watch her show? Ah! Check out this closet in here. All right, so this is what we're working with here. Nothing special at all. Do they give you an iron? They don't give you an iron. There's a little closet with a couple hangers. I mean, at least they did us right and gave us some hangers. There's blood over here on the wall or something. Like everything has been dead, you know? There's like a needle on the ground. Oh, it's like a, it is a needle, ain't it? I don't know what kind of needle that is, but. It looks like a needle. There's like, there's a crack in the floor over here. Like you can literally see under the floor and there's bugs. There's another bug over there, dead cockroach. And you know, if there's dead cockroaches, what does that mean? There was live cockroaches, but now they passed away. Rest in peace. I kind of like this towel rack. It's kind of I mean, the, the, the towel rack is the best aesthetic. Look, give me an Instagram picture, yellow and yellow. Got it. Thanks. You get a fresh little bar of soap. That says Motel 6 on it. It says Motel 6. They're still like, you know, Motel 6 was like, here, closing our doors. We got too many complaints. But here, take all our supplies. I noticed initially some pink stuff on here. Okay. This is on a clean towel. Yeah, we gotta open up all these towels. Look at that. Ew. Disgust. With the light, you're gonna see too much. Turn the light off so you can see what's around it. Do you see the stain and color? Oh wow. Maybe you see it with this light. How does this hotel towels feel? Are they hard? Like they've been in bleach? Like, are like, they soft? They're kind of crusty. Yeah. You know? Like they're not like soft. Like I wouldn't want to like wrap my baby in this to keep them warm. What's on the back side of that one? What is that? All right, you got a couple stains on here. A couple stains right here, right here, right there. Last towel, a hairball. Yum. Well, let's move into the bathroom over here to really check this out. Toilet. Looks nice. There's a pube right there. That's always fun to see. And like the bottom is all like piss stains with like pubes over here and stuff. Yeah, there's literally so much dust and dirt all like, around the toilet. That's supposed to be white caulking and it's yellow. That means that they just don't clean all the piss dripping down. It's just dirty. Like everything about this place is just dirty. Like look inside the tub. There's this is some big black piece of do dookie right there. I don't know what that is. It's not a penny. I already looked. Yeah, because you would have picked it up. I tried to. The vents are filthy. Everything about this place just it's not good. Let's check. Let's check the pressure of the water. Let's see how the shower would be had we stayed here and taken a shower. You want a bath? You get some nice bath. Shower pressure. It's getting harder. But if you wanted to take a bath, how do you plug the the bottom now? How do you plug it to take a bath though? Um, I mean, it looks like it's starting to plug itself up. It might be from the years of hair and stuff that is like okay. Well, we saw in there. We saw that picture. You should reach your hand in there and see what's in there. Yeah. I don't know. Either way, this place 
60 bucks, this is what it gets you. Yes, I know, sometimes times are tough and this is what you have to do. If you're okay in the comfortability of staying in a luxury inn with a bed like this, then there it is. This is the perfect place for you. As for me, I'd rather sleep in my car. I'd rather sleep outside. Because yes, we didn't see any signs of bed bugs, but we did see a lot of roaches and we did see a lot of dead bugs. And that's only because they just did a spray or something because this place does smell. With that being said, I'm not actually gonna stay here because there's no way I already tore this place up and I've seen that many dead bugs here. There's gonna be some living ones coming out later tonight and I can already sense it. So with that being said, that wraps up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please smash the thumbs up button. As only, oh no. You're contaminated. Oh no! We need to take you to NASA and get you debriefed. Please hit the subscribe button right now. That's the only way that I can be uncontaminated. Join the Taylor family by subscribing. Come on, I need y'all. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Jake, you put your hand in front of the camera because I can't. Peace out. Make sure you guys check out yesterday's video and also make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Follow me on my other social medias and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.